this lesson, we're going to add an FCM file or an SG, uh, SVG file to the mat. So this is the icon up here that you would go to for the online version of Canvas Workspress. And we'll go and click on that. And it will bring up this box. Now it says uh, it will import SVG, DXF or FCM files. They're the only files that will come in. Uh, to be honest, I haven't had much success with DXF. Any DXF files I have had have not imported. So um, hopefully you have more luck than I do. Um, but I, I mainly use uh, SVG and FCM files. So you click on choose to choose your file. And then you look for your file that you want. We're going to import the uh, laser cut card. And we're going to choose, in this instance, the FCM file from that. We know they're FCM files mostly because they're just like a, a piece of paper. They're not really associated with anything. You can't open them in um, in the browser or the uh, computer anyway unless you link them with an application of some sort. And in this instance, they're not. So they're just a piece of paper from the computer's point of view. So once we go open... And you'll see that the file name is here written. Click OK. And there's the contents of that file. So um, often files will come in ungrouped. And this is not going to be grouped either. So if you've moved it and you've got, oh, oh dear, I've, now I can't line it back up, just go up to the undo button. And it will put it back for you. Before you do any moving of any sort or resizing, uh, group your, your file like we've seen before. And you'll be ready to, if you want to resize it or do anything with it. Even just to move it around the mat. Uh, sometimes a good idea to group it. Uh, this is the same for other files. So I'm going to um, remove that again. We'll just go undo and undo, get rid of it. And I'm going to go into the SVG and download the same file, but the SVG for the version of it, which I've got all my SVG files linked with Inkscape. So that is the same file, but in with the little Inkscape icon on it. So we'll go OK. It's the same um, scenario. There's the name, choose file, go OK. Uh, but the difference that you will see is that it's come in quite a bit smaller. So this often happens with Inkscape or SVG files because uh, when you create a file, it will only read a certain number, uh, certain parameters. And this, these ones are designed for design space, design space, which has a different parameter to uh, rather canvas workspace. So it doesn't mean you can't use it. So you would just highlight the lot and go up and group it again. And then you would just make it to the size that you would like to make. It's the same same thing. You just adjust it to the size that you want to make it. Uh, sometimes you'll find that they come in. I had it so they come in like that, and you go, "Oh my goodness, where is that file?" You, you just grab it, click on it, drag it out to the size that you want. Okay, so that's uh, adding an SVG or an FCM file to Canvas Workspace Online.